Dress for Success San Antonio is about helping women who are on public assistance get their life back. And we're about helping them not only with the clothing that they need to go and do the job interview, but also the ongoing support to help them maintain that employment. Is it, a, is it a, um, an issue here in the city that uh, there are uh, numbers out there that support uh, what you guys do? Oh, it's definitely an issue. We have, we're serving currently about 1,200 women a year, up quadruple just from two years ago where we served 350. And I've been told by government officials here in the city that the number that really are in need are more than 5,000 women a year need our services. Absolutely incredible women who have, they come from all different walks of life. They are recovering from drug and alcohol. Uh, addiction, perhaps in rehabilitation. they are women who have come from prison or the jails, like 10 to 20 percent of our population are ex-offenders. We have many, many clients who have suffered from domestic violence. So it's just unfortunate circumstances that they have, that they are in the place that they are in their lives. And what we do, I like to say what we do is we give them a hand up. It's not a handout, it's a hand up. Actually, Dress for Success San Antonio is an affiliate of a worldwide organization. There are more than 100 affiliates in 11 countries, and Dress for Success San Antonio is the number one affiliate in the entire world. For the we're, We were designated the 2009 Professional Women's Group Affiliate of the Year. And what we do in this affiliate is we are a true social services organization, and so we, for instance, we have a food pantry, we have a children's playroom. We really step up and address the actual needs that the clients have, and if there's, if there's needs our clients have that no other agency is addressing, then we're certainly going to do something about that to try and help them. Because ultimately what we're after is we want to make sure they not only get that job, but we want to make sure that they stay employed, because we know that that really is the answer to stop the, cycle, the cyclical poverty that's in that's so prevalent in our community. Here in San Antonio, full fledged since two thousand, but tweaked with your guidance and leadership since two thousand two. Share with us how many different places have you guys housed in, since that time? This will be the fifth location. And what is what's so significant about that and Three, three years of those we actually officed in, in my house and we had a we were located our, our shops were located at Travis Park United Methodist Church but there again this is the fifth fifth location and the concern is is that for many of our clients approximately 70 percent of our clients who come here initially are homeless they are technically homeless and it brings up all kinds of different things for our clients to be exposed to the fact that now Dress for Success is we're looking at that perhaps we're going to be homeless again. And so we're looking at our short term. We need to find a place, a facility short term, and we've got to lead on something. But, but we could still use some help on that if, if, the, if the community has any ideas and maybe could help us. And then what we're also looking at is our long term because we don't want to be in this type of position anymore. We really need to take the bull by the horns and, and take, a, take a look at our long term growth and sustainability. No matter what though, no matter what happens in the next few months, Dress for Success San Antonio isn't closing its doors. Oh no, we are not closing our doors. Absolutely not. This is a very needed organization. There is nobody in San Antonio who does what we do. You'll find a building. We will find a building. Yes, we, are, we have been working on it diligently. We have a lot of smart, smart people who are helping us. Not to be scared to, you know, they're very nice. These people are nice. I mean, there's no reason why for you not to come up here. I mean, um, they're, they help you with suits. They help you with clothes. They help you with shoes. I mean, everything, jewelry, I mean, you'll look confident. You'll look pretty and confident. What do you do with that look, though? What? Um, you go look for jobs. Um, they'll look at you different. The job people will look at you different. Um, I mean, I think you should go and, and try it. Dress for Success are very humbling and compassionate people that we have here. And they were willing to help and not only not only help but um, 
their self-esteem will skyrocket, let alone finding a job and taking care of their of their children and just it's all about, really about helping them inside and out not just you know not just with clothing but really really nurturing them because I've been there and I know what it's like and it's possible and that's what I tell them I you know it's like a, a mentoring position as well you know letting them know that it's possible you know it's all about wanting it and and surviving really Tell us real quickly about partnerships, and I'm going to be kind of um, biased here. I know you're working with UTSA. Tell us about the University of Texas San Antonio and the communication students from there, how they have helped you in the past several months. At Dress for Success, we really do not have a line item budget where we have the money available to redo our marketing materials as well as PSA. There is no way, considering how, how many clients that we are now serving. And so the, the partnership with UTSA and the, community, the communication students has been absolutely fabulous. It's just been, it's truly been a godsend to us because we're able to get that, that beautiful quality of work. And so we're, we're just could not be happier with that relationship. I would think it's partnerships like that that fuel Dress for Success San Antonio. Oh, it is. We could not do what we do without the support of our partners and the community, volunteers, companies, so forth, that are all involved. It, it, you know, the saying, it takes the village to raise a child. Well, it definitely takes more than a suit to dress a woman. Tell us, um, how can San Antonio help? What is, what is Dress for Success San Antonio need? You know, a lot of people who surf MySA.com or may not have never heard of you guys. And so tell us, how can the city help your great organization? Well, thank you. That's a great question. We, we, always, uh, we always need donations. We need, and consider the fact that, I mean, when a woman comes to us, we dress her from head to toe. So we give her the jewelry, the outfit, the pantyhose, the shoes, the handbag, everything completely coordinated. But we also need funding as well. Because we, we do have, it's a small core staff, considering we're serving 1,200 women a year, uh, we do remarkable, but we still do, we do need funding. And the funding, it's getting harder to get funding for, out of grants, because the, the tendency is to not do that. There's less money available. So we do, if, if people would step up and make a donation, a monthly donation or something, I mean, we're talking even $5, you know, some, anything would help serve a woman to have her come in for her initial suiting and then to come back to her second appointment and then also a year's worth of Dress for Success, the professional women's group, costs us somewhere approximately $250 per woman, which is nothing to change a life. I mean, it's just, it's so minimal. And it does change a life. It changes her life and the lives of her children and her family, so yes. And what we are after truly is we are after affecting the next generation to help the children that this woman has, either today or tomorrow. But we are after affecting long-term into perpetuity, affecting the next generation. We just think that the best way to do that is to help the mothers.